morning, almost afternoon. Happy Tuesday. Welcome back to a new week. There was something on the table. <laughs> um, a new week, a new weekly vlog. I hope you've been enjoying them. Um, I think this is number six. If uh, my brain is working correctly, sometimes it's not. Um, my husband's home from his fishing trip and he got me like a cute little, or a cute sweatshirt <laughs> from one of the marinas um, and it's so soft um, so I thought it was adorable that he got me something while he was gone um, and it's so and I have a thing for like soft crew neck sweatshirts that if I find a good one I will wear it until it falls apart um, my friend Jackie she was formerly cauldron cookie company um, got me one for Christmas and it's the green one that has a little whisk that I wear pretty much every week in these. Um, and it's just so soft and does something to like my nervous system that um, I'm glad I have a second super soft one now to kind of coordinate even though it's about to be t-shirt season. And I don't like it when it's hot because I don't like being hot. So today, um, there's not much to do. I already did, ran my errands. I got everything kind of set for the week. Um, I just have to make three things of cookie dough and then I'm done for the day, so there's not gonna be much for Tuesday. But as it's been the last couple weeks, tomorrow will be the long one with me baking a lot. Um, and then we'll see where we go from there. afternoon um, I'm done with work it's four o'clock um, I got everything on my list done except for cutting all the bars because I made ten trays of bars and six loaves of bread today and cookies and biscotti um, but I don't feel like doing all the dishes that goes along with like the Tupperware just to save myself an hour in the morning so I'm just going to um, cut and pack everything in the morning. It doesn't really add too much to my day. Um, and I can switch around my deliveries based on how long it does take me. Like if it's 8.45 and I'm nowhere near um, done packing that stuff, I can go do my market wagon, drop off, and then do come home and finish it for my deliveries. Um, I just don't want to do that because it's all kind of in a loop 
um, and I can make my deliveries either on the way to the market wagon drop off or back um, and I think I can get everything ready like pack, cut and packed in the morning um, I'm just waiting on all my bakery boxes to get delivered they're out for delivery usually UPS comes um, around 1 and so I was like cool they're out for delivery when I'm done baking um, I can build all my boxes for tomorrow before I head out um, to go to the gym and I don't think that's gonna happen because I'm gonna get changed here in a couple minutes and head out to meet Brad and then he also because um, if you don't know um, Brad works in home remodeling and construction I, and so that oftentimes means that they just get given stuff from people's houses. So he texts me and asked me if I wanted a new fridge. <laughs> um, and he showed me and I was like, yeah, I think I can make that work, which is perfect timing because one of my bakery fridges, it's from my dad's house when he built it back in 2000. And it's starting to like leak from the freezer. So I couldn't use the freezer a lot. Um, Cause it would like get too warm and then like it would defrost but it would like leak a ton um because it was building up ice um and just driving me nuts because it's 23 years old so he has that in his um in his truck so i'm gonna clear out some of my current fridge um but I, we won't switch it over today because one when you move fridges you have to set them up right for like 24 hours for I think like the cool for something to settle I <laughs> don't quote me on anything <laughs> I for, for like the refrigerant to settle but I don't know it's just something you're supposed to do um, and because I have my fridge is full right now I'm not gonna switch it tomorrow it'll be empty I can move all the stuff in the freezer to my second bakery fridge's freezer because I have two and yeah it'll be fine so I'm gonna go do that real quick before I get dressed and then I'm gonna go work out get some muscles <laughs> It's 11 o'clock here um, and I've been back home from my deliveries for about an hour. I decided when I woke up I just wasn't going to eat breakfast because I knew I wouldn't be able to relax unless I had everything ready to go and leave the house by 8. 
So that's what I did. I just woke up, had my coffee, did everything you've seen in this video so far, and then left around eight, made my deliveries, got some coffee and a little bit of breakfast on my way home. And then I tried to get my old fridge um, out to the curb and kind of got it stuck on the grass and I can't move it. So it's kind of just stuck halfway on our driveway right now. Hopefully some pickers come and pick it up um, if they want it. Hopefully it still works after me kind of dragging it down the driveway. <laughs> um, but um, I got the new one plugged in. I just cleaned it, cleaned it out. Um, and I'm waiting for it to get to the safe temperature so I can start putting stuff in there. Um, and I think it'll work even though it's not a side by side, which worked better um, for me putting like my big sheet trays in it. Um, yeah, I think it'll be fine. I'll just have to like kind of rework what I usually do. Um, but I got that one plugged in before I left on my delivery and then it kind of like got too warm when I was cleaning it because I didn't think about that. So yeah, just waiting for it to get back to the regular temperature and then we are good to go. Um, today I'm gonna do some dishes and then I just have um, one tray of bars to make and some, no two trays, um, and then some cake sickles and then I'm done. So yeah, let's get going.
work for like two and a half hours at this point but I have been <laughs> I have been on um, Kate Gate side of TikTok if you don't know what I'm talking about <laughs> basically it's a baker out of West Virginia who made a not great looking cake and like <laughs> um, posted on TikTok how the customer complained and then the customer showed the pictures and it looks like something I would make, and I don't sell cakes for a good reason, let alone $80. Um, but ever since then, I keep seeing really good cake, like tiered cakes with rainbow sprinkles on my TikTok page, and I'm not a cake baker. They're a decorator. There is a special skill that you have to have to decorate cakes, and I don't wanna be a cake decorator, so I don't take the time to even learn it. Um, with that being said, I really want a cake with um, with sprinkles. So I'm making th this yellow cake, um, but I'm doing the gluten-free version. I would do the, I'm doing like half of the dairy-free version too, but I'm pretty sure my oat milk is bad. So I'm just gonna use regular milk. Um, um, Cause I am gluten and dairy-free more gluten than dairy, it's just lactose intolerance and I can't give up cheese, but as much as possible dairy free. And then um, I, it's from this cookbook, Perfectly Golden. You can tell it's a lot of, gets a lot of love. Um, and <clears throat> it's from a bakery in Nebraska and they cater to all um, dietary restrictions. And I love this cookbook because they give you swaps to make it gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan, um, or the way the recipe's made. Um, and so this one says to swap out the regular flour for Bob's Red Mill. And I usually bake with these two, Bob's Red Mill and King Arthur's. Um, and for Bob's, it's the one-to-one -one baking flour. There's another one that's pretty similar to this color. Tastes like metal 
don't do it. And then King Arthur's, I think they only have a measure for measure. Um, so yeah, those are my tried and true um, OGs that when I am like the first time trying to take a recipe and make it gluten free, I always just use Bob's and see how it turns out the first time. Um, and I know because I'll get asked this, no, I don't sell gluten free items unless it's just like Rice Krispie treats that are naturally gluten free because one, gluten free baking is so freaking expensive and it's so, it's, it's tricky. It's tricky to take a recipe, um, like one of my core recipes and just make it gluten free. Um, because gluten free flours, one, you don't have the gluten that builds the structure for whatever you're baking. Um, and two, gluten free flours are a blend of flours. They, they have additives to help stabilize everything. Um, and those additives can kind of mess up the science part of baking because really baking is just a science experiment, which is why you can't really like swap stuff in and out easily unless they react the same. So, um, yeah, I'm just preemptively answering why I don't <laughs> um, sell gluten-free stuff. It's just because I, I don't get joy from gluten-free baking because it's stressful and it never really turns out. Um, but I know with this, her recipes are tried and true. I haven't found a bad one yet. Usually I make my own birthday cake from this book. If I mess it up, I'll still eat it unless it's like hella disgusting, which I doubt it. Um, anything, it'll be like a little stale and I'll just add some more frosting cause I love frosting. <laughs> so yeah, really I just want to get it frosted and put like a boatload of sprinkles on it. I just really want a sprinkle cake. Um, but I don't have the right flour to make the fun fatty from here. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna go. Oh, whoops. the day of my very last off-season market um 
It's the weekly market I started this year. Hasn't been great, so I can't say I'm sad to see this go. I am so hot, like my glasses are fogging up. I am took too hot of a shower and I can't calm down or cool down. But I am heading out here in a couple minutes to go get that set up for one last time. And I did tell the vendors, because we only have 10 vendors today, that I was gonna order pizza for everyone. So um, we'll see what kind they want and get that ordered a little closer to probably three because of the markets one to four. Um, but yeah, I am ready to get this one ended. And after today, I have um, like one-off markets the next two weeks and then nothing until the first Saturday of June. So woohoo! Um, we are down to my like little bit of a break. Um, and then everything kicks off starting June 1st. Well, not June 1st, but starting the first Saturday of June. Um, so yeah, let's go get this set up.